Good morning, I hope today finds you well. Today I'm going to be doing a demo and tutorial or tutorial uh, using OpenSCAD to create a project enclosure. You can see the final product here with, with the code um, and you're welcome to take it from here and not listen to any of the rest of the video but um, if you want the easy way you can follow through the video. This, this uses the Minkowski function to, to uh, add two solids together and I'm using uh, cubes and spheres to, to make the um, solids and then I'm using a square and a circle to remove the ledge. So before we get started in, um, in creating this, I'd like to show you, talk to you a little bit about how Minkowski works and it makes it a little bit easier to work with if you understand it. Um, it can seem intimidating first and I recommend don't try to understand the math. The math's hard, uh, using it's not. So let's go look at uh, a simple Minkowski demonstration. I have one over here that I've created. And the first one is, um, I have two and I've, uh, let's, and they're, they're offset, so that should help us look at them. So this is just using the square and the circle and I'll, let me uncomment that and you'll see. Um, and let's translate them separately so we can work it bo on both of them at the same time. See both of them at the same time. And what you have is, um, So now, now it's, they're at two different levels. So we have one that's not centered. You look at that from underneath or <laughs> whatever. And we have one that's centered. Let's move him up a little more so he's a little further out of the way. Can I do this? No. All right. So let's look at our first one. This one's not centered. And let's remove the Minkowski function to see what it looks like without it. And you'll see that it's you know a square and a circle. And it becomes quickly obvious that if you think of this circle as a roller, the Minkowski just rolls it along the edge, leaving the trace of the circle behind. Okay, so what you'll end up with is a two unit radius here, two unit radius here, same, same, and then a, you know it filled here. So what it does is it takes the original object and basically extends it in each direction by the, the, uh, the, the added object, the geometry of the added object. And it's fairly under, easy to understand with a circle and a sphere, uh, or I mean a, a square and a, a circle, uh, but it, it becomes more difficult to understand with a circle, a sphere and a, a cube, and then with even more complex geometries, I don't want to even begin to think about how to explain that. So what you'll see is that it'll extend the original shape when I apply it by two in each direction, but it starts at the origin of the square and it the origin of the second object in this case the circle um, and so you see there you got it so it, you'll notice now that it's still the origin of the square is in the same place because you've transformed outwards now if you want it to make it a little bit easier to manage I always find centering things just makes it so much easier to to deal with so you'll see here I have a, a a centered square and there's a centered circle inside there. I'll show it to you. So there it is. So now when I when I apply the Minkowski it takes that circle and wraps it around the square here. So instead of having 0 to 12 and then to negative 2 on say the x and y which you know you know when you think about the tra the translates that can be very start become very confusing you have an even disbursement in each direction. So now you have uh, down to negative, um, what is it, uh, seven in each direction. So five plus two in that, in negative x, five plus two in uh, positive x, uh, five plus two in negative y, five plus two, okay? Now one thing to keep in mind is when you're dealing with 2D objects, this thickness is not really there. It's just so you can see it. So later on when we linear extrude this, we, we have to add thickness later on to do a linear extrude. So that remember, that thickness isn't really there right now. All right, so let's move back to our other, our other shape and, and let's work through this. So I'm gonna open up a new document um, and we're gonna build this from scratch. Okay, so we've opened our basic, our, our new document. And we're going to start out with um, with the, the first cube. So this is going to define 
our the shape of our um, of our project enclosure roughly and I think the way you want to think about this is this is going to be the size of the case uh, cut in half uh, in the z-axis and then minus um, one, millimeter, one millimeter in each direction to account for the for the uh, eventual radius that will be added by the Minkowski um, transform. So, and I've already done a mistake there. We want to do, I'm, I'm going to do a 10 millimeter by 20 millimeter box. So for an Arduino, this would be, have to be much bigger. So that's going to be the basic shape we're going to start with. And what we're going to wrap around that, and let me just hide that for a second. What we're going to wrap around that is a sphere that is, I'm sorry, not one millimeter, one unit, because OpenSCAD doesn't have, uh, it only measures in units. So that's the sphere we're gonna use for the radius, so it's gonna be a one millimeter sphere, and you'll notice right away that it's got the ugly facets. So I don't even like to work with that, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the number of faces to, uh, let's say, 50. So, oops, gotta have a semicolon after each in there, so now, much more visually appealing to work with something a little bit more sphere looking. All right, so now let's add back our sphere and you see, oh, where'd our thing go? Um, so the sphere is automatically centered at zero at the open scatter or, or origin and our, our cube is as well. So this we can start out right away with adding our Minkowski. And it's as simple as just adding the function, really not hard at all. And I'm gonna space that out nicer. So you'll notice we have our radiuses already Okay, and then the first thing, the next thing we're going to, going to do is we're going to tr uh, chop off the top. And we're simply going to do that with, you know, real basic uh, CSG, constructive geometry stuff. We're gonna, I'll just grab the cube from up here. And we're just going to make that a, um, a little bit bigger. So make that what, you know, just so, just to make sure it, covers the whole thing um, and and what we're dealing with here that I meant that I meant for that to be 20 what we're dealing with here is um, open scad doesn't like faces in uh, different faces to be on the same plane uh, it, it gets confused at which one you want to work with so whenever you're subtracting or differencing you make the object that you want to make them of different sizes so what you wanna cut off, you generally tend to make bigger. So the reason I have to make this a little extra bigger is you've gotta remember, so this is 10, but when we perform the Minkowski, it's gonna add 0.5, or no, it's gonna add one to either direction. So this is gonna be 12 by 22 by 12. So I need this to be at least, um, at least 12, so let's make that 13. And this needs to be at least 22, let's make that 23. And you can see, okay, good, it's bigger. Now we, we're going to move that uh, halfway up, so we're only cho chopping the top off. So let's uh, translate that to zero comma zero comma five. So that's going to move our um, cube halfway up its z-axis, its own z. What did I do? Oops, <laughs> comma five, not point five. And that's where it's going to eventually chop off. So now we'll add our differencing. So we can see that. And what one thing I'll do is um, I turn different on and off because if your object isn't overlapping, it can just disappear and that can be confusing. So now we have our half a block, what, what will essentially be the bottom of our case. So now what we wanna do is I wanna hollow out, uh, let's hollow out the inside next. Now in my original, I, I cut out the ledge first, but um, Let's, let, I think logically hollowing out the inside will be better. So in this case, I'm going to steal this. I'm going to steal this cube from up here. Actually, I'm going to steal the whole Minkowski thing here because we're going to create another Minkowski inside the first one. So it's going to be real simple. We're just going to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to end up. We want to end up with a two millimeter wall. So that's going to be eight plus one in each direction. So that'll be 10, whereas that's 12. So that'll give us a two millimeter 
wall. And then for the Z, it's going to be 18. I'll just go 8 there just for funds. Okay, so now we've got our second Minkowski. And let's not move these. This, this is a trick uh, to make it easier. Don't move that inside the difference so it makes sense. Right away, I can see, oh, that's where I want it. Um, I can see half of it is sticking out, so half of it's inside. So that's really where I want it. So that's going to work. So I'm just going to bring the difference bracket down. You could type it too. And there, so now I've got my hollowed out shape. Now the last thing I want to do for this case is I want to create a ledge that would receive a top. And the top would just be the inverse of this. So now let's, let's, let's add that. Um, so, and this is where the Minkowski comes in handy again. Because I, I want a ledge that is flat along here. If I did another, if I did another uh, Minkowski cube sphere, it would be curved in the little corner here, and I don't want that. I want it to be a nice flat edge, so it, it can fully receive the top shape. So what we're going to use instead is we're gonna just going to use a um, a square and a circle. So this and uh, that uses the same coordinate system, but just two of them. And so the square is going to be uh, nine by nine by nineteen. Because remember, we're adding a radius, so it's not going to be, and we're going to be cutting out one millimeter of this two millimeter wall, or two unit wall, sorry, one unit of this two unit wall. So we don't want our square to be 10, because then when we add the radius, it would, it would exceed that and just chop off another bit of the top. So that's, that's my puppies in the background, if you hear them. So now we need a circle of, uh, a circle of one. And, oh, and I need to center this guy. Center is true. Okay, so you'll see that adds it right there. And looks like it's not going to be big enough, but remember, we're going to be adding a circle with a radius of 1 to it when we, when we do the Minkowski transform. So now let's look at it with the Minkowski. And good, it's going to chop out just what we need. Now, the, the, the remaining problem here is that this thickness isn't real. So we have to actually give it thickness. And that's done through a linear extrude. And we're only going to be extruding in one direction. Um, and that's giving it height. And then let's just bracket the Minkowski here. So now it has a height of way too much, 10. <laughs> But that's okay. It uh, helps us understand what's happening there. So now think of this as a carving tool. So we're just going to carve out a teeny bit of what's below it. So we need to move it down. And we're just going to be moving it down by one in the Z direction. Because I want, eventually I only want this to have a one millimeter uh, ledge. And let's bracket that and get that in there correctly. Okay. So oops, make that negative, negative one. <laughs> so we go the right direction. So now that's inset in there, hard to see, but we, we saw it happen. So now let's move our difference down and see our final result. So now you've, see, you've seen, um, it looks like two there, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's one you can see. So perspective can be screwy sometimes. So that's one unit in, although they don't, there's some, oh, I ended up with half a unit ledge. So I'm bad at math, what can I say? All right, so that's your final product. A fairly simple process there. And you might want to clean up. I'm going to clean up your code here a little bit. And I think I'll put this on Thingiverse so that um, people can see how to do a basic basic shape. And so thank you. If, you. if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more of these like um, I plan to add, um, make this Arduino size, and I plan to add mounting posts and holes and a top over the course of time. So feel free to um, subscribe and make sure you hit the alert bell so you get notified when the when there's new videos. Thank.